way that I can help the Forest Service in help, helping manage their land, you know, I can, I'm more than happy to help that. This remote area of the Snoqualmie National Forest is where Christopher Jones started his search a year and a half ago. So I was first notified about the existence of the cabin through uh, volunteers who are active in the area. The trail steward for the Department of Natural Resources set out to find the illegally built cabin. On his fourth try, he found the well-hidden treehouse covered in tar paper, almost fairy tale in appearance with a horror story inside. Framed photos screwed into the walls. According to the charging documents, two photos in particular showed individual girls standing naked, exposed. On a bookshelf in the cabin, an envelope that contained more images, many of them consistent with child pornography. It was shocking and disturbing. I'd never seen anything like that. I've worked in the woods for 11 years and never seen anything quite like that. Jones contacted the authorities who launched an investigation. They zeroed in on Daniel Wood of Mill Creek. After months of surveillance, investigators used DNA from a disposable cup to match wood to DNA found in a cabin. Jones gives the credit to the law enforcement who cracked the case and the tipsters who told him about the secret in the forest. The main reason I found out about this to begin with was because the public told us about it. And I would encourage anyone in the public, if you know about illegal structures or anything illegal happening on state land, federal land, wherever, please contact the agency and let them know. Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News. 56-year-old Daniel Wood has been charged with two counts of possession of child pornography. He's scheduled to appear in court for his arraignment on March 26.